Hi everyone, thanks for watching another episode. Today we have a robot, named Hornet. As you can see in the pictures, he has a lot of chrome damage and metal corrosion. There is paint chipping on the body. The leg joints are loose and the stickers need to be removed to disassemble the toy. We will make new stickers. Let's take a closer look. Those hip joints are pretty worn out, we'll have to tighten them up. Easy breezy. We will also have to rechrome the head. And repaint the red robot eyes. That might be a bit difficult because they're so small. You can do it, I believe in you. I'll try my best. The missiles on the back will also need to be rechrome. And we'll have to resurface the metal legs and give them a good polish. I also had to remove the two front stickers to take apart the toy. We'll scan them later to make new ones. The stickers on the arms have dirt underneath of them. So let's take the rest of the stickers off and disassemble the toy. Sounds good. After we disassemble the toy, we'll give him a good cleaning. Hey Bobot, have you ever seen a toy explode? No, I have not. Keep watching. Let's see that in slow motion. Nice. Now we'll clean and polish the metal legs, I'll use a steel wool pad to remove the corrosion. This will prepare the metal for polishing. Now I'll use flits to polish the metal, buffing them with a clean cloth. Looks nice and shiny. Yep, they cleaned up pretty good. Now it's time to paint the body of the robot to cover up all the chipped areas. We will use a combination of blue and white to match the original color. I'll be using my airbrush for the application. It'd be nice if I didn't spill so much paint. You have to remember to put the lid on. I know, I just get into a rush sometimes. Next, I'll paint on the new chrome using the airbrush again. We are applying the chrome paint to the missiles and robot head. Looks pretty good, nice and reflective. We will be applying a clear top coat to all painted parts. Correct, but after they have fully dried, usually within 24 hours.
Now it's time to paint the robot eyes using a basic red color. We will use a very thin paint brush. And carefully dab a small amount of paint, hopefully without messing it up. Next we'll fix the loose hip joint, by placing a piece of sticky felt pad between the legs. The felt pad will add friction to the joint. We'll have to cut the pad in half, to make it fit properly. With the felt pad in place, it increases the friction and tightens the joint. Let's put the body together and test it out. Works pretty good, the joint is tight and holds in place. Now we will enhance the original stickers to print new ones. I scanned the originals and will clean them up in my graphic editor, then print them on glossy sticker paper. Now we'll cut the new stickers and reassemble the toy.
let's take a look at the final results. When we first got this toy it had a lot of chrome wear, sticker damage, dirt, and chipped paint on the body. The metal legs had corrosion and the hip joints were loose. Now let's take a look at the final results. The new chrome parts and painted body look good. I agree, using the airbrush for the chrome paint gave great results. The metal legs are clean and the hip joint is now tight. The stickers look pretty good too. Well that's it for this restoration, we want to thank everyone for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share it with a friend, and give us a thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. See y'all next time. Deactivating.